You ask, okay, boy, do these things really exist? Well, to extend, to extend, what are we looking at? We are looking at a binary phase diagram for copper, nickel, which are both metals, and when we put them together, this is what people call the alloy. Okay, and uh, it's a binary phase diagram. L for single phase liquid, which means if I'm above this line, we have a uniform liquid uh, alloy, right? Solution, uniform liquid uh, solution, even though it's metals. Here, copper, comma, nickel, but in one bracket means they are so-called uniform single phase solid solution. What does that mean? Here, at any location here under equilibrium, the copper and the nickel exist in the same set of crystal structure, except at lattice location. I have randomly may have nickel, randomly I have copper. I cannot distinguish where is copper, where is nickel at atomic scale. They are randomly mixed, but they are mixed depending on composition, right? If I'm very close to here, the majority of the lattice side are occupied by copper because I'm closer to the left side, copper. If I'm closer to here, the lattice are randomly occupied by copper nickel, but primarily nickel. I cannot find the region that is, okay, one region that is all nickel, another region all copper. No, it's uniform, but also random. Pay attention to what I said. Uniform means everywhere roughly the same, but random, which means it's not like A, B, A, B, copper, nickel, copper, nickel at the lattice side. Make sense? So that's what we learned in the concept. But this phase time, as we go below certain temperature, that is so called uh, miscibility gap. Miscibility gap, which means, okay. Under here, under so-called equilibrium condition, equilibrium condition, if I stay here at, let's say, 300 degrees C at 50-50, if I annuate a long time for the system to reach equilibrium, I would end up with two phases. One would be richer in copper, the other would be richer in nickel, the two have the same crystal structure, but the one is richer in copper, very rich in copper, almost pure copper. The other is almost pure nickel. Same crystal structure, different lattice parameter because they are primarily of different atoms. But for this side versus that side, they are still so-called uniform solid solution, which means here, Although it's primarily copper, nickel in there is at what fashion? Uniform and also random. You cannot miss both. Okay, uniform means the nickel is everywhere, roughly the same concentration. Random means it's not copper, copper, nickel, copper, copper, nickel, copper, copper, nickel. Not like that. Makes sense? It's random. Okay. So for this system, people can observe phase diagram and you may observe so-called uphill diffusion for this system under certain conditions, okay? So you said, okay, Dao Chen, I'm not working on metals, what about ceramics? Okay, so I give you a ceramic phase diagram, not a precise one, but it's between two of the carbide. One is hafnium carbide, the other would be tantalum carbide, okay? Above the liquidus line, I have so-called liquid, uniform liquid. You can call it alloy, but it's actually so-called a pseudo-binary. One side is pure, left side is pure hafnium carbide. The right side is pure tandem carbide. Here it's uniform liquid solution. Here I have uniform solid solution, random, of course, uniform. But Below here, I would have, based on this phase diagram, if it's true, I would have two phases. The two phases share the same crystal structure, but have very different composition, and as a result, somewhat different lattice parameter. But this side, 
a still a solid solution of if we say tantum carbide within hafnium carbide, which means at the at the metal side I have random primary predominantly hafnium, but occasionally have some tantum replacing hafnium. But it's uniform, but it's also random. Similar for the other side. These are some practical examples, and we may also observe the so-called uphill diffusion here within certain extent. Questions?